Greetings to all that is, has been, and always will be. Welcome, Virgo and Pisces, to another approach. We are going into, briefly, the Scorpio full moon. We are going to look to see where you may be within your trauma, your healing process of your pains, and uh, that you, yeah, what you've been working on within the last full moon and what possibly can be coming into the new full moon um, in that energy of that deep, dark, hidden secrets of pain and trauma. Do keep in mind, this is general. However, you know what to do if you so desire. I desire that you like, subscribe, share, comment, hit that bell notification as well. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. It is a pleasure to have you here in the house with Mama Soul Lily. Everything that you need will be in the description box. And I think that's it. So let's see what the punchline is. Call upon my higher self to connect to this intuitive message. May the inspiration and the protection of the Supreme Creative Source, the ancient of our ancient ancestors, and the higher realms of our greatest good guide this experience as we go in, bringing wisdom to our minds and our hearts to know the difference in our discernment and the resonance in our hearts. Ashe. You may find your if it doesn't resonate here check your moon or your chiron all right virgo pisces okay virgo pisces you're having some major completions <laughs> major completions cycles changing so leave that out for the moment but hold up because that means this solar e this lunar eclipse because it says eclipse mermaid a powerful energy shift and on 10 eclipse mermaid yeah my virgo pisces pisces virgos you're really feeling the energy. The eclipse. Eclip. For easy clip. Okay. Eclipse. So let's really look at that. So you're really coming to some major completions. Um, some cycles that you're, you're, you're changing. Some things you're letting go of. You're, you're coming to learn how to work with pain. This is alchemy. I'm feeling alchemy here. You're coming to learn how to work with the pain or to work with um, your mind. Your mind may have gotten the best of you or you may have had a short memory span or short long-term span, memory span. But you're coming to really learn how to work with them acceptance this is self acceptance and Poe is at the bottom of the deck Poe on card number seven so the acceptance of your spiritual path allowing the completion of the, this almost feels like a a shadow shedding you know it really feels like an egoic shadow shedding here letting go of some type of deep pain but it says time for change, to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. Yeah, it's the, like I said, it's like you're really just coming to, to be within the ebb and the flow, within acceptance. You know, this feels like divine acceptance of self and one's conditions that you know the pains the disappointments just this is just total acceptance and through this alone it's going to bring beautiful um changes beautiful changes 
there's going to be blissful moments that are going to be undescribable, that are going to be almost supernatural, unbelievable. That technology and gadgets with wisdom, you know, that's like I said with the mind, taking another approach, you know, not allowing the mind to um, defeat you, but for you to be able to strategically come up with something more rational and then also seeing how the trauma shadow actually comes in to intervene within your life or change your frequency or change your thought or make you resistant or pushy or pushing others away you're seeing how to actually bring I know that's what I thought. I know that's what I saw. I saw the two of pinnacles that balance and really saying to that ego trauma, like sit your butt down, step back. I saw that two of pinnacles. I'm going to get it. What else goes with that two of pinnacles? Supreme creative source. Anything else? Last time. Let's get that two of pinnacles. Two of Pentacles. That is that balancing the acceptance of your shadows. Why is that in reverse? The Nine of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. I know why. I see it. I see it, family. I know why the Six of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles is, is in reverse. It's in reverse because you no longer looking at you the way that you used to. Okay, you valuing something different. You're not looking into the things of the past. You're, you know, this is like, you know, past achievements of yourself and what you've accomplished. You know, but this right here is like saying to me, like, you know, you're no longer that person you're, you're choosing to let the ego shadow of the mundane things of the past of the Western civilization or the conditionings that has been in your life to let it come to a rest. This is very strong energy here for my Virgos and Pisces. This is alchemy. This is self-mastery. This is, this is Chiron. There's a part within your Chiron. Check that out too. You know, your Chiron position. Because this is really some Chiron healing that's taken, that's really taking place here. This is some ego death. The Five of Cups. This is watching it change. Watching it transmute with the Five of Cups that came out. This is watching it transmute. Yeah, transmute. This is watching the old cups, the old feelings, the old you, okay, the old you that's in reverse, watching the old, the old, the past, wash away, go down the drain, let daughter Ka, let daughter Ka handle it, it's no longer yours, just let it, just filter out those tears that you need to let go of, because there's a strong energy shift, let it go. Because you got something better coming in. You got the two of pentacles. This is this is the alchemy. Look at the two energies coming together. The light, the yin and the yang to bring forth alchemy. And when I say that, looking at the rainbow. The rainbow. The balance. The harmony within your chakras. Within your auric field. Within your astral body. And all of that good stuff. Let's see what else we have. Yes, Scorpio is working deeply. You have been working deeply in this energy, the death to rebirth. You have truly been destroying some things. You have been going against the odds. You have been pushing, pushing, pushing. 
there has been some resistance, but you've come to learn to identify the resistance. And through that identification of the resistance, you've learned how to put your finger in it and say, you know what, no, or your hand in it to say, no, no more. I'm going to change that part of me. I'm going to transmute that. And this lunar eclipse, scorpionic full moon here, is going to bring that final transformation that you have been waiting for, that you have been needing in your life. A lot of you are also coming into some spiritual, some spiritual, um, yeah, you're coming into some spiritual gifts, collaborating more with your team within your body, within your etheric body, your physical body, etheric body, and no longer avoiding, yeah, you're finally walking away, yeah. You know which way to go. Yeah. Beautiful energy. You 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 take those lemons and you're turning them lemons into lemonade, baby. You figured out the tools and the ingredients that is needed. It still be difficult sometimes. It's still challenging and you still got some far to go. But whatever you've been working on for the past year, It's finally coming to a close. Bada hai. And that means celebrations. I celebrate with you. I don't like congratulations. Con. No, I'm not conning anyone. To grat? No. I'm celebrating with you. I celebrate you. I praise you for your work that you have done. Bada hai. Virgo and Pisces, you had a long road since I've been here reading for my Virgos and Pisces. The energy, you've had a lot of dark nights of the soul, a lot of the dark nights of the soul, and now you're coming into an area of self-mastery. What is the uh, fairy, fairy message, fairy message, fairy advice? Okay. Purity. This came out with another Scorpio moon. So maybe you'll come across it. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your questions. I feel like you have been looking deep in your heart and you have been purifying and changing the energy around you and within you that you do not desire so that you can actually come to answer the call the call of your soul and at the bottom of the deck yes we can't make this up fam we just cannot make this up transformation okay you're getting your wings baby you getting your halo you getting your your floater feet I don't know, you know, your hovercraft, your natural hovercraft. You are coming into some powerful energy here. And it says, this fairy tells you to surrender to the transformation. Just let it go. Just go with the flow. Just continue to release. Even when you're facing some difficulties or some challenges, just relax. Just give in. Be present. Okay, transformations in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Equality, holisticness, homolistic within your spiritual being and the physical body. This is balance between your yin and your yang, your heaven and your earth. And I do say, Virgo and Pisces, beautiful energy here. And again, Mama Soul Lily says, Bada Hai job well done you are coming to a completion a closing to a cycle and you're getting ready to begin a new book and until then I